update here on the uh, little Project XJ. Um, I finally got it started. <laughs> it's been sitting for a long, long time. The battery totally went out in it. Uh, it won't start unless I hook it up to my other XJ uh, and use that uh, red top Optima that I have in that one to get it going. So it looks like the next thing on my list is a new battery. But all in all, everything's you know doing okay it seemed to run okay since like i said it's been sitting for so long i broke my fan shroud i put my hand on it and it snapped off i don't i guess maybe this extra cold weather we had here really got to it I mean, yeah i was being kind of lazy i had some red paint and i just sprayed on that pulley and on my fan a little bit that way you know if i was fiddling underneath the hood and it was running you know i'd see a little i'd see something kind of going on over here just so i don't get hung up in the fan and get eight so um, and I don't know who did that. I have no clue But anyway, I'm just making a list of things. I'm going to do first. Like I said, I've got the tires on the way um, Right now, I'm just till they get here and I'm just going to go through and uh, take care of a few things and get it roadworthy again. I've got um, I got some new headlights new headlight bezels coming um, I'm going to end up removing this front bumper um, I need to do a complete radiator flush because this thing here the antifreeze is that nasty looks like um, in this old motor there's a lot of whoever did it whoever had the Jeep for me um, had all tap water in this Jeep and it ended up rusting and I've, I've flushed and flushed and flushed and flushed and flushed and I can't seem to get it clean it just it's constantly dirty nasty shitty brown and it's just I don't know what to do other than to if I get a new radiator it's not really gonna solve the problem because a lot of the problems in the motor and the motor's got 240 thousand miles on it and um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna flush it out again and put good cooling in it and get everything squared away and I'm just gonna run the balls off this engine until it fails because I've got other plans for this for a engine for this Cherokee uh, I will tell you all that later but it's uh, I think it's pretty cool but that's a later day so anyways I just want to give you all a little checkup um, I got a flush of brake fluid it's black I mean it's nasty nasty power strength fluids okay um, other than that everything on this motor you know i'm not having any leaks or anything it's just like i said it's been sitting in this this motor and this cherokee's been through the ringer it's you know i'm gonna say it had a very hard life before i got it and since i got it you know i just drove it and did a few little things with it and you know it's just long in the tooth it needs a little love like i said i did have a three inch lift on this thing from that horrible company um I took all that stuff off because there was just a, a crazy insane vibration that I couldn't get rid of and so I thought I was going to end up having to do a uh, slip yoke kit and get a, a custom drive shaft made and all that stuff like that and I just decided you know what just screw it you know I'm tired of working on it and so took all that stuff off and put all the original stuff back on it and uh, and that's then I bought that piece that white Dodge Ram which you know i've had it back to the dealership like five times for transmission issues and that's going to be out the door soon so i guess i'm back with the old faithful jeep which this jeep has never let me down it's like i said it's just long in the tooth hard life um so finally got the old shitty tires aired up and i think they'll hold i just put air in this tire probably mm, five minutes ago and it's already went down that much so these tires are shot um but yeah that's what i'm doing right now i'm just making a list of things to do small things you know to get it road worthy make it safe to drive again and then um whenever i get the tires and stuff put on it and i get some tow points put on this thing someplace in the front probably i'm going to take it down to a dirty turtle with my brother and give it a good shakedown and see if i can't find a weak spot to start from um i know the front axles mm, you know when i replace the hubs in this thing the front axles had some rust right towards the end we're closest to the hub um, so I'm suspecting new front axles for this thing is definitely going to be on my list but we'll see when I take it out and wheel it um, the brakes are, appear to be pretty good uh, never had any issues with the brakes stops a lot better than my country so yeah 
get through all that stuff and then I'm gonna start carrying into it and doing more fun stuff so just giving y'all an update video and uh, I guess that's it you know like I said I don't know who did that so <laughs> I'll be seeing y'all later